What's going on guys, Aviation Aiden here, um, bringing you guys another review. So here we have the 1500 scale Air France Concorde by Herpa. Um, this is, I believe it's an older model just because of the box design and everything. Um, really nice, we've got to look at the box here. There's its dimensions right there. Nice little picture. I think this is before when they gave them tail numbers. So you can tell it's an old model. It, this plane doesn't have a tail number. But it's Air France, so it's nice. Let's go ahead and get it open here. This may not be featured in my uh, airport unless anybody wants to do a route with it. I just wanted it just because the Concorde is the Concorde, and who doesn't love, if you're an aviation enthusiast like me, who doesn't love the Concorde? So here we have a closer view of it. Go ahead and zoom in. Don't have to zoom in too much like my other models. This is gonna be my fourth model to my collection. Uh, this is a, this is another one from my birthday haul, but it kind of got here late. Uh, but it's okay. So yeah, it's very nice. Sadly, I was hoping the new the nose would drop just because you know, um, Herpa they their cargo. Planes usually have like an opening nose or like a, 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 a side door would open. So I was really hoping, you know, there'd kind of be like a little mechanism. But whatever, you know, it's still really cool. It's got, it's in his supersonic or parking form, I guess. Man, I feel like these wheels are actually going to break though. They're so, they're so thin, but it's still cool. It's very nice. Nice and old model. There's a little bit of scratch on the paint. You guys can't see it on camera, but I can. Um, I think it's just because it was a used model. And I don't blame him. It, I got this for $17.50 on eBay. Uh, I think that was a good deal, especially since the price on this says it was $20 bucks on the back. So I got it for mm, like $2 less. Yeah, so like I said, no registration, nothing. Just good old Air France Concorde. I think it's really nice. Here, we'll go ahead and take... Here, I kind of want to do a kind of a measurement here. Here, we've got it with my... Little focus, please. Uh, here, we've got it with my 737-800 Astrojet American Airlines. Decent size. I believe. Yep, I am. Uh, here, if I can show you guys. Pick them up a little bit. The 737 has a wider body than the Concorde. So, you know, in the, if you think you're cramped in the 737, which is a 3 3 configuration, uh, you're going to be cramped in the Concorde because that is a 2 2 configuration. But. At least it's not like the T144. Uh, hint, hint. Maybe my next model. Maybe, maybe. Um, T144, where it's insanely cramped. It was so loud that they had to pass notes inside the cabin. Unlike the Concorde, it was really quiet. And then, let's go back a little bit here. On my camera. There's the American 767, which is. Mm, uh, kind of a wide body. I don't have a triple seven model, but this is a one six hundred scale triple seven. But yeah, so this is like your average wide body, sort of maybe. So yeah, Concord is this the yep, it's the longest out of all of them, but it's not the widest. If any, I was actually kind of surprised seven thirty seven was wider than the Concord, but. I mean, they did say crap spaces. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, I know I'm kind of, I, I feel like I'm doing a lazy job with the reviews. Um, if you guys are wondering where my Delta 737 is, it's, I just haven't taken it out. I just decided to use the Astrojet just because... I don't know, Just I just felt like using the Astrojet. Uh, probably in the next model, I hope... Hope. 
thinking it's going to be the T144 um, NASA like prototype thing or whatever. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that review. Um, I'll go ahead and put the Concord back in the box here. Yeah, um, shout out to whoever sold me this Concord. Um, uh, it's a very nice plane. I like it. I like it. Um, hopefully, new models. Uh, not every week, but maybe every month. I know this month it's, I know it's December. My, um, yeah. But hopefully new models every month or every other month. So I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, that review. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe.